Miss Kathy and Jellybean. Hi, Grace Kids. I'm Miss Kathy, and I have the opportunity of sharing another memory verse with you. It comes from this book. Does anyone know what this book is? Did you say Bible? B-I-B-L-E, you're right, this is my Bible, and it's full of God's love letters to us. And today's love letter is from Jeremiah. Can you say Jeremiah? Very good, it's Jeremiah 32. Can you show me a three and then a two? Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Can you say 17? Very good, put it all together. Our verse is from Jeremiah 32, verse 17. And it says, O Sovereign Lord, I'm touching my wrists one at a time because O Sovereign Lord is another way to say, O Great and Mighty Creator Jesus. O Sovereign Lord, good job, can you say it with me? O Sovereign Lord, that's very good. You, can you point up to God? You made the heavens and the earth. Can you make a ball with your fingers? You made the heavens and the earth. Very good. By your strong hand. Can you show me a strong hand? Can you show me a powerful arm like a muscle? And your powerful arm. And then can you shake your head and, and your finger? N nothing is too hard for you. Can you say that part? Nothing is too hard for you. If God made everything, nothing is too hard for him. Let's say the whole verse together, all right? It's in Jeremiah 32, 17. And it says, O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and your powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Very good. Now our verse says that God made the heavens and the earth. Can you imagine being with God when he showed his powerful hand and his strong arm and he made the universe? He made the stars and the sky and the water. He made the earth and all the other planets. And on the earth, he put the trees and the, the rivers and the fish and the birds and the animals and Adam and Eve. I would have loved to have been there and watched him make the world, make the universe. I can kind of imagine what it might have been like. Would you like to imagine with me? You would? That's wonderful. Let's try it together. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now it was dark and had no shape. But on the first day, God made light. On the second day, God made the sky above and separated it from the waters below. On the third day, God said, let the waters be gathered and let dry land appear and let the land produce trees and fruit and plants. On the fourth day, God said, let there be light in the sky. He made the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night and stars. On the fifth day, God said, let the water be full of fish and all kinds of swimming creatures and let the birds fly in the sky. God made many different and beautiful kinds of fish and birds. He might have even had to help them learn how to fly. On the sixth day, God said, let the land produce animals, cows and sheep, dogs, moose, polar bears, and alligators, giraffes, leopards, lions, camels, even turtles, and snakes. God made man and called him Adam, and woman and called her Eve. And on the seventh day, God rested. Wow! 
that was hard. And I only made a diorama. Imagine being there when God really created the real heavens and the real earth with his powerful hand, with his powerful arm and his strong hand. Only our God could create all of that. Let's do our verse again. It's from Jeremiah 32, 17. And it says, O sovereign Lord, you made the heaven and the earth with your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Isn't that wonderful? That's a great verse. Do you guys think you could teach that to Jelly Bean? I think he would like to learn it. Let's call him. One, two, three. Jelly Bean! What? Hi, Jelly Bean. Hey. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. Got a little froggy throat. You didn't eat frog, did you? No, just a few of them. Do you think your throat will let you learn a memory verse? Uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, kids, are you ready to teach Jelly Bean the memory verse? They say they are. All right, let's tell them where it is. It's in Jeremiah 32, verse 17. And it says, O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and your powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. There you go, Jelly Bean. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think I'm awesome. I know you're awesome. Okay. Can you tell us the verse? <clears throat> Oh, Lord, you have a strong and powerful smell. How do you know what God smells like? Well, I was talking about you. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We're talking about a verse now, and he's got a strong and he's got a strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing about smells. Uh. Let's try it again, kids. Let's tell him again. Ready? It's in Jeremiah 32, verse 17, and it says, O sovereign Lord, you made the heaven and the earth by your strong hand and your powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. I got it. You've got it? <clears throat> All right, say it. O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong and powerful smell. No, jelly bean. God didn't make anything by his powerful smell. Oh. He actually spoke the words, but all of him is powerful. Let's so, try it again. Let's try it again. Ready, kids? Let's tell him one more time. Jeremiah 32, 17. O oh, sovereign Lord, you made the heaven and the earth with your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Try it, Jelly Bean. Okay. O oh, Sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. He got it! Good job, Jelly Bean. Oh, oh, wait, wait. The kids want to know where it is in the Bible. Yeah, I think it's with the deodorant sticks. It's not with the deodorant sticks. There are no deodorant sticks in the Bible. Well, that's why they smelled so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell him where it is in the Bible, guys. Jeremiah 32, 17. Where is it, Jelly Bean? <clears throat> Jeremiah 32, 17. I'm going to go wash up. <laughs> he needs to wash up. Thank you, Jelly Bean. Tell Jelly Bean thank you. Bye, kids.